Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to upgrade my early 2015 MacBook Pro from the original SSD to an NVMe SSD. And I'll put a link in the description to that video. In this video, I'm not going to cover that same procedure. So in the previous video, I installed a Samsung 870 EVO Plus SSD. And in this video, I'm going to be installing the 980 SSD. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the SSDs. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm not going to go over the procedure of setting this up, I'm going to skip ahead to after it's installed because I covered that all in the previous video and it will be the same. I'm just curious as to if this will work and I also ran a quick benchmark here using Blackmagic speed test and we got 1060 megabytes per second write speed and 1185 megabytes per second read speed. So we'll see if we get similar performance out of the Samsung 980 SSD. Okay, so I have a lot of work ahead of me, but you won't have to see all that. I'll skip ahead to the results. Okay, I have a fresh system installed on the Samsung 980 and I've installed it in the MacBook Pro. I'm going to clip the back back on. I'm not going to screw it together yet. I'll turn it over so I can test it. Hit the power button. My login came up. So right after I installed it, I enabled File Vault and it's currently encrypting the drive. And the reason I did that is because I normally run File Vault on this. So it wants me to connect to power, so I'll do that. So it says it has about seven minutes left, eight minutes, nine. So oh, it's going up now. So while that's doing that, I'm going to download and install Blackmagic Speed Test. Okay, file vault's completed. I'll open up Blackmagic Speed Test. I'll start it. So I'm getting some interesting results here. The write speed is 770 megabytes per second, and the read speed is around 930, 940 megabytes per second. So the writes before were, I think, 1050 or something like that, and the reads were around 1100. So this drive is significantly slower, well, depending on what you're doing, it is slower. For most purposes, I'm guessing most people won't realize the difference. But if you're looking for the faster of the two drives, the 970 EVO Plus is definitely faster than the 980. So which drive should you get? Well, as of the time I'm recording this, the 980 is cheaper than the 970 EVO Plus. So if you want the cheaper option, the 980 would be the best option. If you want the faster of the two, then I would go with the 970 EVO Plus. I've said this in previous videos and in comments that the main reason that I upgraded the SSD in this computer was for more capacity, not for speed. The speed of the original Apple SSD and the speed of the Samsung upgrade were both plenty fast for my needs. This computer came with 128 gigabyte SSD and I just wanted more capacity. So I don't know if I mentioned this is a one terabyte SSD, this 980 that I put in. So I have to say I'm kind of surprised at these results. I am just doing this as a test, so I will be installing the 970 EVO Plus back in this computer. I don't have any specific reason to switch to the 980, but I had bought it and I wanted to, to test it and make sure it worked in case someone else was considering it for this purpose. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.